Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm making Bachi di Dharma or Lady Kisses. Uh, this is an Italian uh, cookie, a little cookie. There, there's two of them and they're layered together with some chocolate or you could use another filling. I've seen some people use Nutella. Um, but layered together with some chocolate and very very small and they're perfect for this time of year I think and they're flavoured with ground almonds you can if you want and I'm going to put just a little bit of almond extract in to enhance the flavour of the almond they're quite simple to make but they take a bit of time because we chill our dough before we actually uh, shape it and bake it so I'll go on to the ingredients and for the ingredients I have 200 grams of ground almonds and that works out at two cups. I have 100 and, uh, sorry, 200 grams again of plain flour which is one and one third cups based on scooping packed flour into a 250 milliliter cup. I have 200 grams of softened butter, unsalted butter that is, and that works out at 14 tablespoons plus a teaspoon. I have 200 grams, one cup of caster sugar, and I had have the white of one medium egg, which works out at 34 grams, but the white of one medium egg, that would be large in the USA. I have a pinch of salt and I have just a little dash less than half a teaspoon of almond extract and then for uh, the filling to go in uh, the middle I have 150 grams which is uh, one cup of uh, these callettes of this size um, of dark chocolate and mine is 51% chocolate so that's all the ingredients and we'll go on and mix together the butter and the sugar to start with you can do all of this by hand if you want to but as I tend to do I'm going to do mine with my hand mixer just for ease And we'll just cream these together. So that's nicely mixed together. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to um, add in my egg white and my little drop of almond extract and the pinch of salt and I'm going to mix those around And then I'm going to put in my ground almonds and I'm going to mix those on slow until they're combined as well. And that's mixed in. So then I'm going to add the flour as well. And I'm going to 
Again, mix that until it's just combined. So then I'm going to form that into a dough and I'll tip that out onto my work surface but I will put some parchment, uh, sorry, some uh, plastic wrap down because I want to wrap this in plastic wrap and chill it. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a squeeze to make sure that it's all mixed in reasonably well. That looks and feels quite good. It's very soft at the moment as you can see and that's why we're going to chill it to firm it up. So I'll flatten that into a, a disc and then I will cover it I'm actually going to form it into a rectangle I think like that and I'm going to chill that in the fridge until it's quite firm and that might take a couple of hours and after a couple of hours I will preheat my oven to 180 celsius that's 350 fahrenheit and I will then come back and we will uh, divide this up into five gram or little uh, portions which we can shape into balls and we'll bake those on parchment lined baking trays so i'll be back with with you when this is ready to shape it's been two hours and uh, the dough has chilled in the fridge for that time i've taken it out and so what we need to do is to cut the dough into small pieces which weigh about five grams and for reference that is five grams so it's very small now you could make these larger but that would increase the the cooking time and they wouldn't be the bachi de dharma the lady kisses because they'd be too big so having um, got our five grams we're going to roll that into a ball And once it's rolled into a ball, we'll place it on the baking tray. We we'll take another five grams and do the same. And leave them with enough room to spread just a little bit. And I'm going to do that for all of the dough. So here are the first two trays of my little uh, balls rolled out, five grams each, and I have uh, enough left in the fridge to do another two and a half trays or maybe three trays. So I'll do those later. I'm going to bake these ones off because the oven is now preheated. And while I'm baking that, I'm going to melt my chocolate. Now to melt the chocolate, um, I'm going to put it in the microwave and just heat it 
on half power for 15 seconds at a time. Take it out, stir it, put it back in and keep going until uh, the chocolate is fully melted. And that's all I'm going to do with that basically. So I put these two trays into the oven and I'll bake them for 14 minutes. Then I take them out of the oven and allow them to cool down while I bake the other ones. And then we'll be ready to pipe some chocolate and make the sandwiches. I baked my Bachi di Dharma cookies for 13 minutes rather than 14 minutes. I was watching them and as they began to colour I took them out and uh, they baked quite nicely. This is what they look like. So as you can see they've baked quite nicely and just started to colour and I melted my chocolate and I've allowed it to cool down a little bit so hopefully it's not too runny because I put it into a piping bag and I'm going to try to pipe just a little bit on the top of the, the biscuits that I have turned over. So we'll see how the first one goes. And I'm not going to put too much on each one. And I want to make sure they're fairly flat so the chocolate doesn't roll down. So then what we need to do is uh, you can leave them for a little while for the chocolate just to firm up just that little bit more if you want to and then delicately put another little biscuit on the top of each one you can press down a little bit so that it comes out to the side. So I've put the chocolate in and I've put the little uh, biscuits on the top of each one. I'm going to leave those now just for, so, for, so that that chocolate um, resets. I could eat one now but I would get the taste of the chocolate um, while it's still soft and what I want to do is taste it as it should be which is once the chocolate has uh, firmed up so I'll come back when that has happened and we'll have a taste of one so uh, the Bachi Didama lady kisses have firmed up quite nicely now the, the chocolate on the inside so um, I'll have a taste of this one I just pop the whole thing in my mouth I think The biscuit has a lovely texture to it and then that chocolate gives it a nice rich flavour as well. They are very very good I have to say. A bit fiddly to make uh, but I think these are the sorts of things that can be given as gifts. You can put them in those little cellophane bags coming up to Christmas and hand, hand a few out as, as gifts to people who visit if visiting is allowed in your area. I should also say that you can put other fillings in if you want to. You could use a chocolate ganache for instance or an orange chocolate ganache or although I wouldn't do it you could put peanut butter in and Nutella and things like that. So I hope you've enjoyed this recipe and if you have please give me the thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to a link for this recipe and I'll put a link below the video as well and I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future so until then happy baking.